around here we've got plenty of bush turkeys. We've got a lot of ducks. Ducks are good eating. So there's a lot of ducks, a lot of bush turkeys, and we've got some rabbits. Welcome back to the Aussie Prepper channel and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we'll be discussing the usefulness of air rifles for prepping or survival. Here's my Benjamin Titan air rifle. And this is part of my prepping kit. This is a fairly cheap air rifle by air rifle standards. It's a Benjamin Titan Nitro Piston air rifle. It's fitted with a Leopold scope and some quality mounts. Now I've already got a video discussing this air rifle in details uploaded and I'll link that below in the description box. Now the only other modification this air rifle's got is I have had the trigger modified because these um, triggers are known to be not that good but once you modify or have the trigger modified for clean break it makes a hell of a difference to this particular air rifle. Okay so this is a Benjamin Titan Nitro Piston in 1.77. Now the output of this is about a thousand feet per second or 1200 feet with light alloy pellets. That's the advertise. So it's got about 15 foot pounds of energy which is quite sufficient for hunting. This is actually considered to be a hunting air rifle. It's actually sold in the US as a hunting air rifle. Okay, so why an air rifle for prepping? Okay, there's a number of reasons. The first one is these rifles are really good just for target practice, just to practice your trigger skills. You can go out and fire like a hundred rounds at a target and it's not going to cost you much money. Okay, the pellets and ammunition for these is cheap as chips. These air rifles are a great thing to keep around just to keep your firearm skills up and honed to a good level. The second reason is, okay, let's have a look at the ammunition. Now, these are what I use, Predator Polymags. Now, I use these for several reasons. They work well in my air rifle. My air rifle likes them, and they are quite accurate out of my air rifle. They are a little bit on the heavier side. They're an 8-grain pellet in the 177 and they are a premium hunting pellet. It even says here, you don't play with these. They are actually a hunting pellet designed for hunting. So these have a poly tip, and they work really, really well in hunting situations. And now in a survival situation where I live, we have quite a large number of game that I could take with this air rifle now this has got an effective range of about 50 meters okay the accuracy is great still at 50 meters and it still has enough power to put some small game down at 50 meters if you can get closer than that which shouldn't be too hard for most situations you'll do even better so around here and look depending on where you live it's different around here we've got plenty of bush turkeys. We've got a lot of ducks. Ducks are good eating. There's a lot of ducks, a lot of bush turkeys, and we've got some rabbits. So they would be the main targets if I was in the survival situation using this air rifle where I live. So I'll be looking for rabbits, ducks, and bush turkeys. Now that's not a bad feed if you can't get any decent meat in your stores. And, like I said, this is your ammunition. Easy to store. There's 200 rounds in this. So potentially, even if you're a bad shot, you've got 100 meals in this one box. So now I've got 200 meals. 300 meals. 400 meals. And that's if I'm a bad shot. So there is a year's worth of protein right here. Or probably more than a year's worth. Okay, this is being a bad shot. I'm pretty sure I can take more than 100 small game animals using 200 rounds without any problems. I'll probably go closer to 150. 
You've nearly got two years worth of meals right here. Between these pellets here and this air rifle there, I can feed myself for 12 months without a problem. So that should be really all the reason you need to own one of these. Okay, these are maintenance free. This is a nitro piston air rifle, it's not even a Springer. Okay, if you want to use different pellets, here's a box of Winchesters, there's 500 pellets in there. So there's another 250 meals right there, 500 pellets. Now these are easily stored away. You can store 10 of these boxes. They take up no space whatsoever and they last forever. They don't deteriorate, they're just lead pellets. So they last forever. Now if you like you can upgrade to 22 caliber air rifle. I prefer the 177. I've grown up with a 177 air rifle. Plus the trajectory is a little bit more flat with the 177. Whereas the 22 does hit a little bit harder, obviously, than what the 177 pellet does. Now you can also get yourself one of these, a little pouch that attaches to your belt and you can easily carry two or three hundred pellets in that without any problem at all. So very portable, ammunition is very portable. Now you do have to have a firearms license in Australia to own an air rifle. I'll do another video down the track covering some of the Australian gun laws. Um, I've had people ask about it and some people might be interested in what our gun laws actually are. There seems to be a perception overseas that we've handed all their guns back and that we're not allowed to have firearms. It's Look, it's not that hard to get a firearm. All your firearms got to be registered. Like this, this firearm here is registered with the New South Wales government. Whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's up to you. And I do own other firearms as well, but this is my air rifle. The other advantage of air rifles is that they're very, very quiet, even compared to a 22 rifle. And look, in Australia, we do have a lot of restrictions. I watched some US videos and it's absolutely hilarious. Some of these preppers, they carry an AK-47 and 300 rounds of ammunition in the back of their car just in case. Look, it, that even seems crazy to me. But then again, America's a different country to here. You'd, um, you'd go to prison in Australia. You can't do that. All firearms got to be in safe storage, etc., etc. But we will cover Australian firearms legislation in more detail in another video. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now just some tips for air rifles. Make sure your air rifle is sighted in. I sight mine in for maximum point blank range. And do get a good scope. Don't think because you've got an air rifle, you can get a cheap scope. Because air rifles destroy rifle scopes. This rifle had a cheap scope on it. I do talk about it a little bit more in my air rifle video, which is linked down below. So if you're interested in the issues I had with this rifle when I first bought it, watch my other video. Look, I'm not, I'm not treating this as a self-defense weapon. I'm treating this as a survival weapon that you can easily use to feed yourself and your family. Now, if you've got any questions about this video or any comments to make about it, Leave a comment down below. I will respond to all comments. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from Aussie Prepper. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.